Shalom, all praises be unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechak, Radash, double honor unto the elder apostles, the elder bishops at the Great Millstone, who are well, and to us is truth. Salutes unto the Akim who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Now, uh, you know, what's going on with the old bill? <laughs> the old bill is like a Cockney English phrase for the policeman. And I've got two articles here, both from today, okay, um, dealing with, you know, police uh, questionable, um, questionable acts, man, you know, but you see, but these things have always been happening, but they're intensifying now because we're at the end and we're at that time where particular spirits are placed back on the earth. To usher in um, a real grimy, dangerous time such as never before. Okay? Um, ushering in Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble is uh, also all the nation's trouble. Okay? Because not only Jacob is going to be troubled by it. Okay? But here it is. The article title reads, Stripped and left topless in a cell. I was drugged and sexually assaulted by Greater Manchester Police. Zaina Iman, 38, has obtained CCTV of her 40-hour detention, but there are three hours of missing footage. <laughs> oh, boy. And then you got the photos there. You can play part of it, but I'm not going to play it. And the question is asked, are women safe in custody? Let me close this window. Dogs. <clears throat> are women safe in custody? And it says, uh, unconscious, with her hands cuffed behind her back, a woman is carried into a police cell. She's forced face down onto a thin mattress. Police officers take off her jeans, cut off her knickers, pull a pair of oversized custody shorts over her legs, then remove her top and bra before leaving her alone and topless. All of this captured on CCTV. You know what I mean? You know, that's... That's sounding real, uh, <laughs> real you know what, man. Okay. The woman in the footage is Zaina uh, Iman, 38, who alleges she was drugged and sexually assaulted while being held in custody by Greater Manchester Police. You know, up there. Up north, man. Instead of providing an unconscious female with medical attention, they thought, um, I know, let's take her clothes off instead and leave her there. Say Zaina surrounding, uh, sounding incredulous. It's just something that the police do for their own perverse kicks, right? Um, and it goes on to speak about her arrest and all kind of stuff, right? But that's the point, man. Um, you know they. I mean. Wow. And these are male officers, man. They 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 put her, you know, her face down in the mattress. You know, and, and you know what happens when you know when the face is down, man. You know. As they say, man, face down, ass up, right? Ripped off her jeans, cut her knickers off and um you know, put on some gel clothes, but you know, there's a couple of hours of footage missing so uh, you already know what was going on you know they would have gone to the the cctv it department play back the footage and, and cut out what they don't want to be seen man but you know and the police is known for doing things like this man okay so that's just one case and then sorted these on the app and that was from today reported today right within 34 minutes ago, right, 
not too long ago, you had another um, um, thing pop up. Chief Constable of Devon and Cornwall Police, Will Kerr, uh, facing criminal investigation into serious allegations of sexual offences. Uh, Will Kerr, who joined the force in 2022, was suspended by police and crime commissioner Alison Hernandez, who has spent more than 30 years in policing and was deputy chief constable at Police Scotland before joining Devon and Cornwall. This geezer here. Right. A, a criminal investigation into serious allegations of sexual offences against the chief constable of Devon and Cornwall Police has been launched. And I don't really care to get into it, but, you know, the point is proven. You know, serious sexual allegations were concerned sexual assault. So, through and through in various places, man, and Devon and Cornwall, the complete opposite end of England, if my geography serves me correct. Yeah, I believe so, to Manchester, man. So, all over, up and down the map, you've got things popping off, man. And as I said, these things have always been happening, but now... It's just happening um, at a intensified rate because it's that time. It's that time for them nasty spirits to get busy, man. Okay, you know. <laughs> but, let's see. Uh, and we're going to see a lot more of this, you know, we're talking about, you know, you know, crime and all that stuff. We're gonna see a lot more of these things of this nature, okay, of this nature popping off because the the scriptures speak about it, man. You're gonna have women getting graped out here, men getting graped out here. You know, um, there's a couple of series on Netflix I'm watching right now. I think one of them's called a slasher. It's just gory, man. You know, and um, I'm watching it. You know, and the woman's there. And she goes, ah, why are you laughing at that? You're sick. You're sick. You know, you know they want to they want to watch Love and Basketball, and, and 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 you know them throwback movies and shit. You know, but you're into these like type of shows that puts you in the mindset of what's about to come. And now nah, I'm going to the other room. I can't watch that with you. You're sick. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus thirty nine and twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So you're going to have spirits jumping on people, man, to just do particular things. So we know that it's of the Lord and it's of the time of destruction, as says the scripture, and appease the wrath of him that made them. So by all these things happening out here, and what, I mean, these two articles I've just decided to speak on, I just did it because you've got two cases against members of the police force right well these are low levels going to intensify you know and and the rate of it happening is going to increase speedily man because we're in that time okay and the the, the right appeasing the wrath of him that made them you know this is appeasing the lord yahweh bashim yahushai man his wrath man so here we have it man we're clearly in that time where we're about, you know, we're about to head up into some, some nasty times, man. We've got to stay prayed up, you know. And if you think, you know, you know, oh, my daughter got graped or, you know, your wife got graped or something by some nasty spirit out there, you think calling the police is going to help? Nigga, it's the police doing this shit, <laughs> okay? Can't you see? So there ain't going to be no... Nine 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 one 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 nine one one whatever number works in your local area vicinity area code, them numbers ain't gonna work, you know. Press the press the button nine nine nine, you know, nine 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 gonna be calling nine 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 man, and nine 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 ain't gonna answer, okay, you know. What was that song? Somebody called nine. Was it nine one one? <laughs> Forget how it goes, man. Some throwback song. Please. <laughs> People are going to be begging for 911 and 911 ain't answering. 999 ain't answering. You know, it's crazy out here, man. 
So um, yeah, news of that amount, man. Shalom.